So I think the trial that in general, the trials that everybody is the most excited about in NF1, I think I can speak for the clinicians that that is probably MEC. Um, there is a lot of energy in the MEC space. There is a number of companies that have MEC inhibitors. And in fact, it's interesting to see that all these MECs may have slightly different profiles, slightly different applications. So that is one aspect that where MEC is really demonstrated as being effective in NF1. Apart from that, I think there is some um, uh, bone morphogenic protein um, clinical trial that looks really interesting, which is for um, bone deformities. So one of the big problems also in NF1 is that the tibial uh, bone starts bowing and that leads to uh, break, bone breaking, and the bones heal very bad. And the uh, BMP program is really helpful in helping heal these uh, bones going forward. Um, there is a number of other NF1 clinical trials that are ongoing but if for me I think those are to me the really exciting ones. For NF2 a clinical trial that I think is really exciting is the um, Avastin trial where we look at uh, bevacizumab, which is Avastin, um, to look at the effect of Avastin on tumor shrinkage, especially in uh, for vestibular schwannomas and um, meningioma. So those are kind of the exciting trials. But what I can tell you here is that the number of trials is continuously increasing. We were looking the other day, the number of interventional trials that are ongoing today are 25. So it's very, it's getting a very active field and there are a lot of interesting targets and we still, some of these trials are still young, although I personally think that they're really exciting. I wouldn't want to make any statement here because we don't know exactly how they will roll out.